All right, you guys, in this next video, I'm going to show you how to add in some more doors and some more windows into your tiny home. Doors and windows in spaces really, really, really help open up our space. First thing I'm going to do is add in a couple more exterior doors to bring in some light and to add some more places and ways to get into our tiny home. To do that, we always are going to add doors from our door tool. I know you can find doors in your component and students often accidentally go into the components and try to open up doors through the component feature. It will give you a default. So just be really careful when you're adding in doors to go into our door tool. Again, Revit gives us some pre-made doors that are pretty standard, but there are some really neat doors as well. To do that, I'm gonna to go to load family and it's gonna to default to the last folder I was looking in, which is furniture. So I'm gonna go here to my US Imperial folder and I'm gonna double click on my doors folder. In my doors folder, just like my other tools, I can get some pre-loaded doors right on the main section, and I get a nice little preview of what that door is going to look like. Again, I am looking for some doors that allow the most amount of light into my home as possible. So some good ones to start with might be this um, door curtain glass with a single, door. That one probably isn't what I'm looking for. I could do a double storefront door. That doesn't make sense because I'm not doing a store. Or I could do this one. These all are all seeming really um, commercial doors. Let's see. Uh, this glass door, this I know is a residential door. Or I could do my sliding doors. I know that sliding, um, this door is a um, another residential type door and I think this is actually going to be a really good place to start because in my tiny home I'm really limited on space and as we found out before if I tried to have doors that swung then I was really limited to space inside my tiny home so I'm going to try a sliding door. Now the next thing that happens is it says hey what size sliding door do you want? Well I want to choose a door that is six feet eight tall because that's our standard height door and I want to choose something that is a width that makes sense. I want as big as possible. So I'm going to actually choose this six foot by six foot eight sliding door and I'm going to click on OK. And now it's going to load it. Oh, it's saying, hey, you haven't saved in a while. Um, I'm just going to hit cancel because I don't need to save it. I really did actually recently save. And I am going to place this not right in front of my bathroom but I think right here. Perfect. So now I have this beautiful sliding door. I can tinker around with it just a little bit. It's still trying to add another door. I'm going to go ahead and add one into my bedroom as well. Again, I want to add as much light as I possibly can. And I'm going to hit escape two times. Now I want to make sure that my door is going the right way. I want my arrows to actually be on the outside and I want this door to go this way. So I have to tinker with this door. I need that arrow to be on the outside and I want it to open up the other direction. There we go. So it opens from here to there. This is my one that doesn't move and this is my one that does move. I'm just going to double check to make sure I have it the right way before I move on because I'm not sure. Maybe could be wrong. Maybe that arrow needs to go on the inside. So to do that, I'm going to view this in 3D. So I went to my view tab, I went to view in 3D, and I am going to orbit using those little arrows to the other side. And I'm gonna very carefully scroll. I'm not gonna get too crazy with scrolling here. And that looks like it might be right, but I'm just gonna tinker and see. If I do this, hop back over to my 3D view. And yeah, I definitely had it right the first time. Awesome. So I'm going to grab that door again, and I'm going to pop that arrow to the outside. Okay, now I know this door needs to move. I rearranged my space a little bit, and I plan on moving that door a little bit. There we go. I'm going to move it a teeny bit more. And if you notice, I brought this bench in. So I'm going to slide that bench in behind my door so I have a little entry space there. I can now move my table over a bit more, and I have my couch here. I'm not sure if I love where I put my couch, but for right now, it's just going to stay there. And I have my my bedroom sliding door, and I want to add in some more windows here. So I'm going to add in my windows. I'm in the wrong tab. I'm still in my view tab. So 
I'm going to pop back over to my architecture tab and I'm going to go to my window tool. In my window tool, again, I have some default windows. Never in my tiny home am I going to add in a fixed window. That's a window that doesn't open. I'm not going to add that one in. I am a huge fan of casement windows. Those are the windows with the crank on the inside that you see right here where the windows open out and they kind of pivot like a door almost. And then there is some preloaded double hung windows. The double hung window, as you can hopefully see in the picture, it slides up and down to open up the windows. Another really common kind of window in your home could actually be, let's go into, whoopsies, let's go into our windows folder. Another type of window you may have is a sliding window. They're alphabetical, so I'm just scrolling right here, a sliding window, and that one's really big. This is probably more the style of what you might have in your home. Um, one side slides open, and then the other side is always fixed. Uh, you could add that in. And then another common, so we have all of these casement. If you want some really fancy casement, there are quite a few really different looking casement windows. You can try those out. Um, a bay window is one that sticks out. Those were pretty popular in the early 90s. Not so popular anymore. Um, another place you might see them, and I'm actually going to add one in, is right above the kitchen sink. So here's my kitchen sink. And before I add it, I'm going to check to see what other sizes are available. Look at here's my default size. That could actually be really neat. However, I think that's a refrigerator, so that won't work too great. Um, it's just this one size is available. So I'm going to plop that in, and I'll show you what it's going to look like. There we go. Now I know I'm going to run into some problems here because I've done this before and I know if I'm going to pop over to 3D. I'm going to go over to the other point of view. Come on, computer, you can do it. I'm going to hit escape two times. And this window it might be a little too low for my kitchen counter, but actually it's not terrible. This is what a um, bay window looks like. I definitely am gonna have to tinker around with my roof on that, but that will be something for later. Just an idea of what the uh, bay window looks like. And let's see, I'm gonna go back and I wanted to add in some more casement windows. So I'm gonna, choose a really nice big casement window. Let's see, do I have enough space? I sure do. I'm gonna put a casement window here. I'm gonna put a casement window here. And I'm gonna put a casement window here. Notice how I can't have it right next to my door. I need to have a little space between. And I wanted to put one right here, but I had this other window in the way. So I'm just going to take that window and delete it. And I'm going to add in another casement window. All right, fantastic. Now I can check to see on my 3D view. Uh-oh, I'm running into some glitches. I'll fix those later. Look at my window I chose was too big. It's actually hitting into my roof. That's silly. I'll have to fix that later. I didn't choose the right size. I was like, oh, I want the biggest one, and I chose too big. I also have to figure out what's going on with that wall because that should be nice and pretty looking, so I'm not sure what's happening there. I'm going to go around and peek on the other side. All right. So here's how we can add in some doors and some windows. We want to let a lot of light in. I missed a window in my bathroom, but I'll take care of that. Don't forget, this is super important, don't forget to save 